Welcome to Edge. I'm Robert Krolwich. In this month's program... The TV show American Gladiators, the last real American dream. While many of you may have spent the last month glued to your television set watching the Olympic Games, or really whatever games you're into, you may have missed a very interesting phenomenon. The live tour of the TV series American Gladiators. It's sort of, although not exactly, a sport. It's a TV show that pits amateur contenders against sleek, built, very athletic, well, they call them gladiators. Now syndicated in 95% of America and some 20 foreign countries, American Gladiators is an industry unto itself, with regional tryouts, its own TV show, several lines of toys, and of course, a computer game. Edge went to find out what do people, I'm talking about lots of people, what do they like about this show? Speed. Jokes. American Gladiators consists of seven rather unorthodox events, but each of the events combine the, the best parts of speed, uh, cunning, endurance, and a lot of mental agility. Swing shot. The maze. The attractive part of the American Gladiators is that anyone, a plumber, a barber, a candlestick maker, anyone can end up in our finals. An outrageous new arena of competition. The message is everybody can have a chance to go out and play sports and stay healthy. And actually, when you think about that, isn't that what really America is all about? I think to be an American gladiator epitomizes what America stands for. Uh, the freedom to do what you believe, the freedom to chase a dream and, and capture it and advance and come on the TV show and be in Hollywood. Here are your American gladiators. Ice, Ice, Jamie, Jedi, Do the thunder shake. American gladiators draws on a lot of different traditions from TV. It um, is part game show, part uh, trash sport. I also think that one of the real traditions up is also comic books, obviously, because a lot of the imagery of the show comes from that. Again, the contender has 30 come seconds. On, come on, Randy. Another tradition, actually, that it draws from, though, is the tradition of the carnival or the state fair, where you have tractor pulls. Um, who can hit the bell, you know, the highest on the pole? Here they go. Oh, my. <laughs> oh! Rip Mark off. Ortega got the red. It is the hard hat Olympics. It, it's, it's, it's the hard hats of America. It, it's, it's the blue collar sport. That's 75% of America. You know, that's the arena. Those are the people paying the tickets and their children. I'm good! It comes out hard and fast. Get down! The merchandising is, is a real big key here because you're able to be involved again. American Gladiators, you are the Gladiator. The official American Gladiators chow set. Figures sold separately. I think the great thing about being an action figure is no matter what happens to you, no matter what track your life takes, even though I've programmed myself for success and to be happy, I think the best thing about it is that you'll forever be what we like to call not immortalized but plasticized. There is a kind of sense in which they are both extremely artificial and extremely real. In fact, the whole notion of the gladiator here troubles that boundary between the artificial and the real. Is the tan artificial or real? Is the hair artificial or real? How can the muscles be artificial? Uh, even if they're bulked up, even if they're steroid muscles, even if there's silicon involved, these are parts of these bodies as the viewer encounters them and admires, fears, desires them. The American Gladiator Sports Nutrition System, available at general nutrition centers and other health food and specialty stores. Look at wrestling years ago. They were just big guys. Now it went into muscular guys. You know, Sylvester Stallone takes his shirt off. He makes $100 million. You know, I, people, or, or, or Arnold Schwarzenegger. People want to see muscle. And Schwarzenegger becomes, in a way, the presiding deity of American gladiators. He is the figure against whom all of the gladiators and the contenders seem to be implicitly or explicitly measuring themselves. 
I wondered whether they took the term in part from the Arnold Schwarzenegger film, The Running Man, which is a 1987 film very like this program. Showtime! It's set in 2017. The world is in a mess. Everything is very totalitarian. And uh, the only thing that, that unifies the country is this television game show called The Running Man, in which figures called gladiators or stalkers pursue people who are actually right-thinking people but have been identified as criminals and have to run through a kind of maze of the city. The stalkers or gladiators in that film have names like Sub-Zero, Fireball, Dynamo, Buzzsaw, and they're all highly idiosyncratic, cartoon-like figures. American Gladiators is turning around what people think of bodybuilders or of women with muscle because the public goes, ew, we don't like that. I feel that American Gladiators has changed the stereotype of what people should be and it's given more freedom to be who you are. The American Gladiators live tour. Here are just a few of the dates and towns nearest you. 7-Eleven, together with David Bischoff and Samuel Goldwyn Company, present The American Gladiators Live Tour. My name is Indy Fillmore. I'm from Harahan, Louisiana, and I'm a cardiac exercise technician for Tulane University Medical Center. My name is Daryl Howe. I'm a math diploma from Metairie, Louisiana. I really like competition. I ever since... I've been young, my whole family is very competitive, so it's been nice to have an outlet through sports, and I've missed that, so it's really fun to be back into that. I'm just a real competitive type of person I've been all my life. People have a myth that bodybuilders can't move around, and I want to prove them wrong. The plumber from Metairie, getting set to go, Daryl Heil. They're not as big as they look on TV. I was, you know, expecting to see these big old monsters. They were all very good competitors. They always came up to give you a high five. There was no really hard feelings where they really hated you. It was just good, clean competition. There's also the whole kind of gods and goddesses subtext here. The, the notion that the human beings are the heroes and then they're up against the gladiators who are the gods and goddesses by virtue of the fact that they never die that they're there in the next program um, the wall standing down the bottom looking up it just looks big and it's slanted back and up and back you try to mark like the spaces right before you you know which rocks you're going to grab and after you're up the second plane you really don't know where you're going to grab and people are shouting at you and you're looking and then you can hear the steps of the gladiator pounding up behind you and it kind of goes to a freeze. You don't know where to grab or what to do. Here come the gladiators. There's a kind of excess, just as there's an excess in the bodies, so there's a certain excess also in the apparatus. Uh, which becomes a kind of fetish object for its own sake and is, I think, pleasurable for the viewing audience. She had her legs clamped tightly around the legs and lower torso of the flailing contender. Both were dangling in midair above the heads of hundreds of gaping watchers, suspended only by hand grips. The thin girl struggling on the rings is being loudly and patronizingly coached by her contender husband from below. But now the results of his coaching are becoming clear. No way can she escape the hard-bodied ice. As the girl rides and tries to hold on, Ice's legs scissor her down to the ground. I had 157 pounds on her, laughs the blonde gladiator. This is a show that has a sexual angle for everybody, I think. It's got uh, beautiful bodies on display and beautiful parts of bodies on display. Uh, they are... Uh, bodies that fulfill fantasies of sexuality, the fantasy of uh, entrapment and escape, of domination and submission. Right hip shot. Yeah. Here she does pick up two points. We're here 
to entertain them, but also to lift their spirits. And if anyone ever needs support, any gladiator will offer to help. Diamond the Gladiator, and what a very nice sentiment.